So welcome on the board, uh, everybody. Uh, we are going to start our third lecture, and I'm going to share with you presentation in which we will first talk about what is uh, today's topic, and uh, we are going to study today. What we are going to study today, primarily there are six basic settings and calendar settings. This is all uh, relevant to the software commands, and then we will uh, further move on uh, from our previous uh, uh, lecture that uh, we were in WBS development and today we will uh, move on. We will go into the details how to develop your WBS in more details. Okay, so uh, what are the primary six basic settings? Uh, in this uh, category, we are going to make industry selection uh, in which industry we are going to work, then unit of measure and uh, then uh, currency settings and then ultimately calendar settings. These four things are required at this level to let Primavera know that uh, what are our priorities. So how to do all these things I will share with you whiteboard first and uh, Just a moment I'll share with you Primavera dashboard and uh, on this Primavera dashboard, you can see uh, actually today's topic is more relevant with the software commands. Okay, so what we need to tell to Primavera at the at this stage that uh, about our basic settings. So here you have toolbar menu in toolbar menu. What you need to do, I will just write the process flow diagram for the industry selection. So you have to click on your toolbar menu. You have to search for one word admin. Once you'll click on this button, you will be given a drop down window. In that window, you have to click on the first option admin preferences. Actually, this course I'm going sequence wise, like how you will work in the industry. Okay, how, which thing will come first and which thing will come after or later on. So just maintain the sequence while learning this course. In this course, I'm delivering you at the same time the concept theory. What is the logic behind uh, planning? And at the same time, I'm just giving you the concept how to do command based things to make your project on Primavera. So uh, you have to click on admin this time for your basic settings. And, and uh, once you will be given drop down window, you have to uh, click on admin preferences and uh, a new window will open for you. In this window, you have to search one word industry. It's a very simple thing. Okay, I'll just follow this simple logic on Primavera dashboard and you will just witness this thing. You can also do this thing. Okay, so I'll click on admin and uh, you will see there are three options, but I will go for the first option admin preferences. I'll click and you will be given this window in this window at this moment. You have to go for industry that uh, you can go and find here in the bottom area. Okay, so you have to click on industry. And uh, Primavera is being utilized in different sectors. Engineering and construction, if you belong to engineering and construction sector, you have to choose this option. If you are from go government, aerospace, and defense projects, you have to go and select this. And if you are from high technology, manufacturing, and others, you have to go for this option. And then utilities and oil and gas provision is also given in Primavera. Okay. But at this moment, as you guys know that I belong to engineering and construction, my project is uh, which I have developed right now in Primavera is belong to engineering and construction. So I'll go for this option. Why this is important? Because Primavera is widely used in engineering sector. Okay, so Primavera have a lot of knowledge, a lot of data. Once you will click on the given option, one of the given options, Primavera will present you the information accordingly. Okay, so you have to go for the first uh, one of the given options. Okay, engineering and construction I have selected for my project. Okay, that's done. Just close this window. First setting is done. Now, the second thing, what is second? Again, you have to click on admin and this time you have to not click on admin preferences. This time you have to click on admin categories okay admin categories and once you will click on admin categories you will be given here one window 
and uh, in this window you have to go and search for <clears throat> unit of measure first i will let you know about the unit of measure what is unit of measure for that purpose i will uh, share with you guys boq in this boq any sheet i will open right now for you guys there is the first column everything you will extract from your design or drawings will be written in this first column then the second column will provide you the quantity and the third column will provide you the unit this is unit of measure in which this work is being measured running feet kilogram square feet running feet if you go randomly on any sheet numbers this is unit of measure for this activity this is unit of measure for this activity so who will decide about these unit of measures actually this will be done in your project contracts and agreements that which units you are going to follow so accordingly those units will be given in your boq so at this moment you have to provide information to prima vera that what are the unit of measures in your project so it's a very simple thing you have to visit your boq and one by one you have to upload your unit of measure in primavera 6 how you have to follow that logic i have just wrote this logic over here you have to click on admin then admin categories then a new window will be given to you there you have to click on unit of measure it's pretty simple i'll share with you primavera dashboard and i will follow this logic and you can also do that in very simple way i'll click on admin this time the second option admin categories click on this button and you will be given this window in this window again you can find the required option in the bottom area unit of measure and you can witness here there are a lot of unit of measures given over here i have uploaded all these unit of measures manually how you can do that option i'm not going to e delete each and everything i'm just giving you one demo if you need to add any unit of measure what you need to do you have to click on this add button this add button is very important while you are working on primavera 6 because either you have to add wbs you have to add uh, unit of measure you have to add currency you have to add resources you have to add risk you have to add anything from outside of primavera to primavera you have to click such buttons these buttons are randomly given on some areas most probably these buttons are highlighted in this area like in this window you can see this button here but if you need to add any activity or you need to add any wbs you will be given this button over here so it's very simple thing you have to click this add button to add anything it depends on the window which window is opened up so again i will go into the activities window we are uh, actually adding at the unit of measure and this time you have to click on add button once you will click on this button a new line will be added by primavera so you have to read the name of description of this column unit abbreviation here you will provide one unit abbreviation like cubic meter cum like this way i will repeat and here you will provide the full name cubic meter I will just repeat and here same like square feet let's say i'm going to it okay like this way you have to add all the unit of measures given in your boq but it's not like that in your boq its cubic meter is given like 100 times 100 items are being measured in cubic meter units so it's not like that you have to add cubic meter 100 times in this window you have to just add one time cubic meter and later on you can utilize cubic meter unit for 100 times okay so you have to add here a unit only for one time not like that cubic meter for 100 times okay this is also done just close this window now the third option third setting you are going to do is the currency setting you have to define currency for your project and then you have to assign that currency to your project so what i'm going to do i'm just going to erase this window and again click on admin button 
given in your toolbar menu this time you are going to select the third option given in your tool drop down window and the third option is currency this is very important thing and the window will be opened and in this window you have to click on again add button there are few currencies given by primavera but if your country currency is not given there you can manually or you can customize your requirements how you have to do that i will share with you primavera dashboard and i will follow the simple process flow diagram and you will see here again admin currencies click on this button and you will be given this window in this window you can see there are few columns given over here currency id currency name currency symbol exchange rate okay and there is a bottom window as well first we will see there is also one add button but primavera automatically will provide you the popular currencies like american us dollar pounds japanese euro chinese canadian but if you your country currency is not given over here you it's not a problem you can just click on this add button and you can write here the currency id for your country the currency name for your country and then currency symbol for your country what is exchange rate if you are going to analyze the cost of your project as compared to american dollar as compared to pound or as compared to any other currency there must be an exchange rate you can google that and you can provide that value over here if scenario is not like that you can better put one over here okay the, in the in this way you can um, define your currency in bottom side you can see there if you want your currency to see in decimal so what should be decimal symbol comma or dot number of decimal places okay and then later on if you will go in cost management you will observe that there would be some positive currency format some negative currency formats this would uh, would be discussed in that topic when we will come and when we will go in the cost management but you have options how you can uh, how you want to see positive currencies and how you want to see negative currency there are multiple formats given over here it all depends on you what you go and select okay it's simple thing so in this step we have just defined our currency for our new project now i am going to tell you that how to assign developed currency for your project you have not assigned your currency yet so what you need to do you have to go in your toolbar menu there there would be one option edit click on that button you will be given user preferences once you'll click on user preferences you will be given a new window in that window you have to search for a new not a new currency button and uh, then you will be given currency window in that window you have to assign the updated currency to your project how to do that i'll share with you primavera dashboard and again this time i have to click on this edit click on this button user preferences okay this window this drop down window can be extended this is extension symbol okay so you can see here in the bottom area user preferences and here you have one window in this window again you can find over here currency like this click on this button and here once you will click on this area you will be given all the currency storage room okay here you have us dollar the same window i have opened pre, uh, just right now a moment ago and you can find here you have a lot of currencies just let me you want find here saudi real okay so i will find i will just assign this saudi real to my new project and just check box your these options to see your currency and with symbol and to see your decimal digits okay this is very important two options to make activate to tell primavera that show every time currency symbol or currency id with your um, money okay so close this window as well it's done so now what is the next thing you are going to make so next thing is very very important that is about calendar settings because our life uh, i have already told you that at the end of planning phase right now we are working in planning phase in planning phase we are going to we are doing uh, scope management and uh, while doing scope management we have to learn about basic settings of primavera because we have to uh, upload all the scope 
of work on primavera in the form of wbs and then we will go into the details but here we are going to discuss about calendars why calendars are important because at the end of your planning phase you have to submit one planning package if you will recall your first lecture what i have delivered you two two days ago you will find there there is a planning package in planning package there is one thing given project schedule so what is schedule mean schedule mean that when your activity going to start which activity is going to finish on which day so that thing will be controlled by calendars your project pattern work okay which day you are going to work which day is off how many uh, hours you are working uh, in one day so all these things are being controlled by your calendar so calendar setting is very important first of all we will learn how to approach the calendar in primavera 6 so i'm going to write here enterprise in toolbar menu there is one word given and once you will click on this button you will be given a drop down window in that window you have to find calendar and once you will click on calendar you will be in front of calendar window so how to customize this calendar window i'll share with you information on primavera dashboard it's a very simple thing just what you need to do you have to memorize things the way i will let you know okay it's very simple thing actually uh, primavera is very friendly user so this time you have to go into enterprise here we are and in this window scroll down 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 here calendars click on this button and you will be given here a window in this window you will be surprised when you will open this window in your primavera might be possible there would be few options but in my database you will find a lot of calendar options it's just because i'm a professional trainer and every time i will develop a new calendar that's why i have a lot of calendar storage uh, despite i'm a thing that i'm continuously deleting them so uh, i have a lot of things so don't worry when you open this window in your computer you will find a two or three calendars you can also build up to this calendar patterns but you know don't worry about anything okay so this is the calendar window there are three types of calendars global calendar resource calendar project calendar whenever you will uh, develop a new project you will open your calendar in global category your global category must be clicked on i will go into the detail later on that what is global calendar what is resource calendar because at this moment i am just let you uh, going to uh, let you know that how to make calendar for your project so first thing you have to again find out here there is a new uh, add button over here so let's uh, forget about all these calendars that you need a separate kind of calendar so how you can develop your own calendar click on this add button first step and then you will be given this window from this window you have to select just one calendar for formality just one calendar for formality purpose i will go and just i will click on standard click on this button and you will be uh, you will observe that one line will be added over here the same way we have added currency the same way we have added unit of measure uh, the same way we will be uh, on calendar window okay here you can find the name of your calendar as per your uh, uh, calendar pattern as per your project name anything you can write over here to give name to your calendar i you can observe here i have given different names to my calendars there is no thumb rule it only depends on you okay you can see i have given also name of calendars as per the project names so there is no thumb rule but what is meant by six by nine because six days working in a week and nine hours per day six days working in a week and eight hours per day six days in week working in uh, one week and 24 hours like this way and here you can write in the text format as well so there is no thumb rule you can also write here the project name okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to give the name of my project like city central development project and once i will click you will see my project calendar is disappeared why because it go down as per the alphabetical order and here it is i will just click on this selection box 
and once it will be selected no i because primavera doesn't know that um, what is my priority how many hours i will work per week i will make off day on friday or sunday okay how many off days would be in one week so i have to tell primavera all about the uh, about this information okay so for this changing or modifications you need to search here one word modify because you want to change this calendar you don't know what is the setting already uh, have been given in this calendar so you have to click on this modify button just click on this button then this window will be in front of you and in this window you can see that uh, at you can find calendar patterns at your homes um, okay the same pattern is given over here but it is in soft form and you can navigate like this march april you can go backward you can switch years like this way click on this button yeah, then you can switch among the years click again here and then you can switch in among the months okay and then you can find here that saturday sunday is off but you need only one day off on your project okay and uh, then you can find on the top you can find your project name then there are two options given over here total hours work total work hours per day and there is detail work hours per day what is this so let experience it by switching it you can see the difference when you will click on this button you will find information like this way when you will click on this button you will find information like this way because it's going to give you detail work hours per day in one day there are 24 hours you can find here 24 hours every bar is comprised of 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes one hour 30 minutes 30 minutes one hour why there is a different colors grayish color is off work hours whitish color is working hours total work hours per day giving you eight hours per day okay this is done now how you have to convey your pattern to primavera so you have to go and click on work week by this option you will be given this dialog box and you have to ask your project manager that how many hours we are going to work per day let's say your project manager will say you that you uh, project uh, construction team is going to work for 10 hours per day 10 hours every day 10 hours 10 10 10 and how it will look like when i'll put each day 10 hours okay you will see there is no off day every day is going to make 10 hours per day click any day here and you will see the reaction over here okay now actually you are going to make sunday off so you have to put here zero okay now you can find sunday off once you will click on sunday you will see here zero and now you are going to make your friday half day like five hours so each friday of your this calendar will make five hours see each friday and every other day will be 10 hours so this is the work week uh, control button by this you can convey your work week pattern to primavera okay after this thing i'll just make it normalize 10 okay that's fine so your pattern is 10 hours each day and sunday is off now time periods this is very important thing to tell primavera to calculate man hours later on when once when you will apply resources to your activities so click on this button and give primavera accurate information you are going to work 10 hours per day as per the instructions given above the box box so if actually you are going to work six days in a week so 10 multiply six is going to make 60 hours per week and there are four average weeks in one month 240 hours four multiply 60 going to give you 240 hours per month and then there are 12 months and you are going to multiply 12 with 240 and it's going to make 2880 hours per year okay so just click on okay everything is done you understand what is total work hours per day you understood that detail work hours per day how it will react and then how to set your work week and then how to calculate time period and now there is a very important thing which have been bothering me for a couple of months when i was new on primavera how i will convey to primavera that if there is some 
national holiday that is sunday is off but there could be some day like uh, that's not sunday but off you have to give your labor your workers off day you cannot uh, continue your work Th that would must be like national holidays religious festival days okay so those days you have to make manually off so that you can inform pranavira that don't start any activity while you will schedule your activities on that certain day let's say 18th may is some national day so you have to click on that certain day because you cannot push your labor or your workers to work on site so you have to click on that uh, 18 make non work 19 make non work this way you can tell to primavera that these are national days and these are out of sequence actually these are not as per work week off days wednesday thursday and if you will make wednesday thursday off over here every th wednesday thursday will be off like this way you see okay you can see every but it's not our requirement what we need we need only one minute we need only these two days off so that's we can do by manual non-work so for mechanical engineers who are working on primavera 6 like maintenance engineers if you have some urgent uh, urgent work like you have to work on off uh, weekends like sundays off so what you need to do let's say you have to work on 8th of may you can click on 8th of may and click on this work it will make it will calculate that effort okay for you you can enhance the working hours like by clicking this arrow 8.5 again click 9 9.5 and 10 you can decrease your working hours by this area okay so this way you can customize your calendar as per your requirement okay so i'll close this window this is done basic settings are done now i'm going to let you know about uh, little uh, things about uh, wbs where we were uh, um, in yesterday's lecture i will continue from there wbs you know the project would be broke uh, down into subcategories so that we can compile the detail of our project so i will just click on wbs here we are we have already developed our project wbs engineering then procurement and then construction and then further we divide our project into subcategories so here i will actually focus on one thing how your WBS will be developed. Uh, one thing, it depends on your contracts that was discussed yesterday's lecture. Then products development. And then the in between there would become one process development. Okay. From contracts, you would have an idea that uh, what should be the model of your work like engineering, procurement and construction process development because design, what is the process of design in your company? Okay, that would define the process. Okay, you have to define activities in design phase and procurement phase as per the what is the process process is the set of small actions to get required target. Okay, and this is development. Uh, actually, just wait a moment. This is not, not simply development, this construction, construction phase. That's why it's called EPC project. Okay, so I will share with you why uh, Primavera dashboard. Like this, we have already divided project into subcategories basic design, detail design, procurement, bulk. Ra today, I'm going to write here basic design. I will so, uh, the basic design of which item so i'm going to break down basic design into subcategories so we can you will observe one thing as much as i will break down the things into lower levels you will find easiness you will find the flexibility you will find the detail of your project so basic design the first thing is road works so i will just copy and i will write here v because Road work basic design will also be the uh, task then basic design for which another item storm water drainage system okay this would come because these are as per BOQ if you don't know I will share with you BOQ because we are working on this BOQ these are the components of our project we have to construct each and everything first we will make design then uh, we will identify the items what items we need to procure then uh, we have to make the construction activities the same way I have developed my WBS over here okay so that's why I'm writing the 
every item will be in the basic design phase there is water supply network so here might be possible i am just explaining on uh, logic on few uh, activities are, are are on few wbs but you have to complete the things while practicing just take one item road works just take one item to practice purposes it's not like that you have also go and uh, it's just for learning purposes okay so here basic design the same things you have to uh, once basic design will be done then you have to go into the detail uh, of design of these items so i will break down detail design also here first once road work basic design will be done you have to make detail design once this basic design is done you have to make detail design for this item because this is the process of your company i i already told you that you have to develop your uh, wbs on the process of the company so this is the one minute this is water supply network actually one minute and here detail design the third i'm here why i'm first these things uh, basic design will be prepared then detailed design then once detailed design will be done for these items we will go and study with our uh, quantity surveyors with our project management team we will extract the quantities then we will identify that which items we need from the abroad countries or which items we will need from the local market so you need let's say you will study and you will see that in bulk items you need steel you will write here steel in bulk item you need uh, electric rod in bulk item you need welding rods okay in bulk you need cement all the items you will and long lead items are like the items which will take too much time i already explained this uh, terminology in my previous lecture that long bulk items the, which are required in huge quantity and are available in local market whereas long lead items are those items which are uh, will be uh, uh, one minute long lead here electric panels the long lead items which will take too much time like two months three months so that's why i'm categorizing each and everything differently electric panels then sensors as per then it can be one minute uh, expansion joints then delineators on road cat eyes are delineators like this way so just have a look on activities window how it looks like once you will develop your wbs in the more detail you will find here different colors are also developed in your activities window your engineering design your procurement then construction we have divided our uh, deliverables into further categories to make more impact in our planning monitoring and controlling and as well as in reporting phase okay so in this uh, summary you can have a bigger idea that first you have only engineering procurement and construction here but now you have divided these categories into sub uh, categories and now you have seen that in engineering you have basically basic design and detail design what items will be go for um, basic design road works storm water water supply and then the same items will be uh, given in detail design okay and then after these things you will identify the items how uh, um, which are the items you need to procure in bulk which are the items you need to procure in long lead category then further on uh, from tomorrow's lecture we will uh, develop our wbs in construction phase as well and then we will go into the activity level to make our scope management in more effective way for, so for today it's uh, all 
thank you very much for all the guys out there for participation so if you guys need any uh, registration for full paid uh, premium workshop which will comprised of uh, same kind of live online lecture from two to three weeks in which we will cover from basic to advanced level primavera six okay so you can register via whatsapp thank you very much